Baubles, bangles, and beads from Seeds. That's right, all kinds of jewelry made from things that grow all around us. See how it's done and how you can do it yourself right now. It's so nice to have you with us. You won't believe what we have for you here at the Botanic Gardens in Washington, D.C. Of course, you know we have ferns and we have plants and we have all sorts of orchids and exotic... Wait a minute. Did you ever suspect that this lovely rose that I'm wearing right here could become beads? Well, you're going to find out because Ruth Smith is with me and how are you? Just fine. I, I mean, I, I'm amazed. I didn't watch any rehearsals, so I'm almost as new as the audience will be on this. But you have what is an old... Looks like a Dutch oven to me. Right, I put a pot right, roast right, right. in this and a blender. I do my slim fast well, I think shake could, in there. And I think you could eat this because it's just rose petals, and roses are edible. All rose petals. All. Rose. And you said they'd be frozen if they have not, fresh. Yes, I wouldn't eat uh, roses that have been sprayed. Right. But by the time you have gone through all these steps, right. you know I think they'd be. So you, you say you fresh rose petals, you frozen or dry. Or dry. Give us a, a, what are the steps? Can you go, run through okay. the steps? You start, these are the petals, right? This is uh, four cups, packed, right. packed. Okay. All right, then I put them in a pot and softened them, you know, mm -hmm. simmered them for maybe uh, an hour. Then, you put them in a the stove? like On a stove, all right. right. Now you got, looks like chili. Right, these are soft rose petals. Just, that's water and rose petals. That's, yeah, it's a little bit of water. Then I have to, have to add water because right. you, you want to get a slurry. Right. Now you just... Hit the magic button. Right? Okay. But long. I do that maybe a couple minutes because I want right. a nice slurry. And you end up with this. I end up with this. That's a real Then yeah. I'm ready to put it in an iron pot. What turns it black? That's the iron pot. Oh, that it, makes it black? Just leaving it in a pot? Well, yes, and you stir it very slowly. You stir it frequently. Do you cook but this too? Cook or it or slowly. It, all right. For hours, maybe eight hours. You can, you can stove or an on oven top or? of the stove, yeah. I use a heat spreader. And see, because right. when I fill it, it's pretty. Is it a slow cook? Here it's or? a very slow cook because okay, yeah. it splashes. Right. And you want to get the iron into the, uh, the, the gotcha. you want to get this turned black. Okay. And then? then after it gets pretty cooked, I put it out on papers mm -hmm. to get rid of some of the uh, moisture. Mm -hmm. I put a paper towel over it and I do this, leave this maybe for a day, but I've changed newspapers under it, you know, because so, um, it gets you got wet me, and I'm amazed, right? what, Then what? I get to a nice, Cream cheese consistency. That's after this. Over after here. that, because yeah. I've gotten more moisture out of it. Right. And then it's time to add a few drops of rose essence in there because you've cooked all the, right. the fragrance well, that out. It just makes it smell like a rose. It just again. makes it smell like a rose. You've reintroduced the I'm, flavor. Right. Okay. Then I'd use about a half a teaspoon, mm -hmm. a little rounded half a teaspoon, right. and you get your little hands out here. And you roll. Can I do that? I want you to do that. It's a, it's on, I mean, I, I know what's going to happen. And here, it's only seen. rose petals. Isn't that unbelievable? Now look, here's a little rose ball I get. Now what do right. I do with that? When you get it nice and round right. and no cracks in it, mm -hmm. and we use water sometimes to fill up it the cracks. Because right. if you leave the cracks in, they'll be pronounced when right. it dries. You okay. can't have it. So then when we get a nice round, and this isn't little ball, the, the, little the, board, the best little sample, ball these are it. little butter paddles mm -hmm. and we use these to get the pattern to get that little oh, pattern I see. In yeah there. all right all right all right now you've and got the pattern you've got a ball what is this this like is a, a brass ball. wire yeah. that's been sharpened on one end and we try to hit the middle mm -hmm. get a nice round bead mm -hmm. This isn't the best example. And mm -hmm. then we put about nine or ten of these right. and then put them on the uh, tray to dry. Mm -hmm. And as you see, I made these this morning. I started out with this size. Right. Monday, I made these yesterday, the day before. And these are Monday, and that's the size and they, they end up. And they all shrink up as the they moisture shrink up reason. about a third of this size. Did, when did they reach this point? About, about fourth or fifth well, day. In a way, look at this. I don't know if you can see this. Look at this. There's on the bead itself and pretty much about the same size. That's it. This. That's terrific. And do you polish them or grind no, them or do anything? No, no, then that's it. But often we discard a lot of them because they often don't don't uh, dry in a nice round shape. Whoever came up with this? Some ancient... Uh, I going? think it's lost in the mists of history, you know. But I think people in India were making 
uh, uh, beads out of and flowers. And rosary, I guess you can make a rosary. This out. is a rosary mm -hmm. made out of rose petals, Excellent. and this is over 100 years old. Is that, that's not where the word rosary came yes, from. Yes, it is. It, now, see, we've learned something. Well, is it, take a look and at see, these here. These are just yeah. seeds from around the world. So you're not using just roses here. Here there's different seeds. Well, this is just my, a collection mm -hmm. of seeds because I'm just interested in seeds because they have religious and charm significance, you know. They're ethnic seeds. They're mm -hmm. from all over the world, and I just think they're lovely. And you're wearing a lovely necklace. This is, these are rose I seeds. I may wear one myself before the show. <laughs> let me say, our unit at the Herb yeah. Society of America revived this ancient practice, mm -hmm. and we're, we've been doing it now for about six years. Well, it's a lot of fun. It really is. Ruth, thank you so much. Thank you. Very nice to have Ruth Smith, and delightful to have you with us. Thank you. Uh, we'll continue with more of the Home and Garden Almanac, but nothing more interesting than what you've already seen. I don't think the show could get any better than this, but maybe.